Hi, Fire Signs. We're going to get right on into your reading here. And we're just going to look at a few cards from the bottom of the deck here. We have the clouds. We have the fish. We have the house. We have the anchor. Okay, let's pull one more card here. We have the bouquet or either the flowers, okay, depending on which Lenormand stack you're using. Okay, so let's go on and just first make a few general observations and then I'll get into the specifics of what I'm seeing here with this reading. Okay, let me just look at these cards carefully here. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of uncertainty surrounding you guys here. You know, I'm also seeing a lot of um, financial pressure or either debt. Um, I'm even seeing something associated with it. It seems to be more of a, an illegal type business or an underground type place where you're doing or someone is doing illegal practices I'm getting. Now, I know that this these messages I'm telling you right now is beyond the scope of this reading but i'm gonna i'm just sharing with you a few additional things that i'm seeing here okay i'm also seeing something connected with a real estate business and perhaps someone is doing something in perhaps even a fishing business or industry okay i'm seeing a house near water okay i'm also seeing that a positive change is coming about for you guys i'm seeing a very um, fun lifestyle developing and, and in also pleasant living conditions. Okay. A committed family. What many of you looks like that you that you really want here. Okay. I'm also seeing a home based type business as well. Okay. Now I'm going to go on and just try to share with you the type of man or men, the energies that I'm seeing here, and then we'll gain more specifics into, you know, these cards here. I'm seeing a very indecisive man coming towards you. See, he has gray hair, um, very sophisticated type, and he might even smokes, very insecure, a bohemian type style personality, if you will, okay? I'm seeing someone of Mediterranean descent, and that is to include African, Asian, you know, and, 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 and including Spanish. Okay, that I'm kind of getting here. I'm seeing someone who's a homebody. Someone of stocky built. Okay, so attribute what I'm saying in terms of the description to your situation. Okay, I'm seeing someone with um, square shoulders. Okay. Someone that's tan with very dark features, perhaps. Someone that I'm getting here might be... I'm kind of getting here that there also might be a bit narcissistic, a very vain yet charming type personality. I'm seeing a barber potentially, an artist, okay? Someone that's serious, a, a, a business type person, someone who um, seems to spend um, lavishly here that I'm kind of picking up here in your reading, Okay. I'm seeing someone, too, that's very stern and set in their ways. Or even, in fact, for some of you, I'm getting a strong sense that they, they may, might even, in fact, work near water. Okay, like a, a ship or maybe the harbor area, a marina or a dock or something that I'm getting. So what's up, then, you may ask. And I'm going to go on and just give you a more of a con consolidated story. You can see here we have the fire signs, the earth signs. Water signs, all of the signs here are shown here. There is an overemphasis on air, however, too. So some of you might be, you know, kind of dealing with air. I feel that maybe some of you may even be dealing with several people. So let's go on and just give you more of a consolidated story so you can understand my message. And if this reading resonates, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with others to whom you think might benefit. And be sure to press that subscription button. Okay. So for those of you who are single, 
I feel I kind of see you meeting or with a very meeting up or linking up or just, you know, kind of getting yourself involved with a very, very confused businessman who always makes, it seems like he makes irrational decisions or he's always jumping to conclusions without really properly, really just, you know, checking all of the details on things here. Okay. I feel that you're going to, indeed, it looks like you're certainly going to feel an instant attraction to him. I'm getting with these cards. And you're going to feel as if you've known him before. And many of you will really want to settle down. Okay? Even some of you, I'm kind of getting, will want to kind of establish a family, a sincere relationship. And for others of you, I feel that some of you or someone short, I'm out, I'm picking up a shorter type person too. I feel that you're going to have to be very cautious with this person I'm getting, okay? Because he appears to be wearing a mask, I feel. So you're going to definitely have to be very, very cautious. And I feel that this man is going to certainly use all types of flattery, okay? We have this fox card here. I've got to put this up here. All types of flattery to kind of get at you. Okay, but rest assured, he's involved with another. Okay, and the fox indicates this. He's just a smooth talker here. Doesn't mean you can't go out and date. You know, you may want to consider taking things slowly with this person before making any haphazard decisions. Okay, but if it's certainly someone connected to your past, don't hold your breath. Okay, this man looks to be shorter, as I said here. And I'm kind of feeling too that he is certainly, he cheats serially, I'm getting. So just know that you ain't got shit. Let me stop. <laughs> you know, this person might not be serious as he may make you think him to be here. He knows how to pressure buttons I'm getting, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And it seems that he's only after you for what he can get, which is why I emphasize the point that he is indeed a narcissist, okay? Now, for others of you, I feel that many of you will, in fact, feel something, something just ain't right, you know, particularly in your situation, and you're going to be riddled with doubt and fear, you know? It appears the person with whom you are dealing, or even perhaps yourself, Want a more uninhibited type romantic situation, ladies and gentlemen. A situation I'm kind of feeling or getting here with benefits. But rest assured, there's a lot of cheating that will be involved, okay? And it's quite possible that this cheating just might be happening at your house when you're not there. I feel this man will offer a gift of flowers. Even perhaps act like he wants a to reaffirm things with you. But this person is very dishonest, crafty, very street smart, and has a very Machiavellianistic type approach to how he does things. He's a habitual liar, thief, and perhaps on drugs, perhaps, and various other intoxicants, okay? Rest assured that this danger can certainly be avoided should you use your head and not your heart at this point here. And I mean, it's like you can use your intuition to trust things, but you need to be very realistic about things too, okay? You need to remain very cautious or just simply if you were to connect with this person in any way, Know that something is up and you need to just have realistic ex expectations on what your chances might be. And if you know somebody is cheating on you, what kind of good expectations can you expect to develop of that? It's time to embrace the unknown. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. 
So with that said, I'm going to go on and just select some more cards, ladies and gentlemen, to just to move on and just see what may have already occurred with you with this person or what might be in process of occurring. Okay, so we have the moon. All right, which is usually a vibrant type card here. We have the letter. Okay. So we have <clears throat> both water and air sign at present showing here for your path, as well as earth sign. We have the key. Okay, these cards are very, very beautiful, aren't they? And then last but not least, we have him, the man. This is your significator. Well, so let's go on and just make a few general observations, and then I'll give you a more consolidated story of what I'm seeing here. I'm certainly seeing in your past, or it could be something presently happening. I'm seeing a very seductive type man. I'm also seeing you're going to receive some type of communication, a loving or romantic type passionate letter or message. And it's will appear to be a very significant piece of information for you, for you here. And it's going to come from a man whom you feel a very, very strong soulmate connection here. Or simply an individual who is very, or who has been very important, particularly in your life. The message looks to me to be very, very emotional here. And I feel that the cards are kind of telling me again, again, a little off the scope here, but it's telling me that either one of these men are or is a medium or it might just be you, ladies and gentlemen, being a medium. And spirit is telling me to tell you to continue to develop to develop that gift. OK. Now, I'm just going to try to seek and I hone in on how this person looks. I'm seeing someone very moody, even perhaps I'm seeing also someone that looks like they have like porcelain type skin, a round face, someone that's very seductive here. Slim, I'm getting very strong, striking and very striking and, and arresting um, type attitude here. Someone with whom you feel again that you've had some type of a past life type association. All right. So let's go on and try to give you a consolidated story here. So for you singles, I'm kind of getting many of you met a very seductive man, one whom you felt you've known before and perhaps shared a past life. I feel that it looks like that he romance or like I said, this could be something that might be uh, presently happening. He could have romanced you and might have offered to take you out or some of you... Um, might have met this man on a blind date here, okay? Because I'm seeing it looks like a love letter of some sort or a card being received if you have yet to receive this. He might have or will give you flowers and really do something very enticing I'm getting to seduce you. And the key for you singles would certainly be to trust your intuition in, in these matters, okay? Okay? And only time will tell if this union is to flourish. Because I feel that many of you have employed a, it looks like more of a wait and see type strategy to see which way the ball is going to bounce. I'm kind of getting. All right. So let's move right along and see what your future might entail here. Okay. We have, of course, the man here already shown here. And then let's see what's coming next. We have the garden. Okay. The next card we have is the book. Wow. Okay. Then we have this vibrant card, the sun here. Very optimistic card, usually. And then, unfortunately, we have the mountain. But understand, ladies and gentlemen, although it seems to be... Agony at, ag, agony at first. Mountain can certainly be crossed. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, we have the ship. Okay, so you see here all of the signs are once again represented. Okay, we have the air signs, the earth. Okay, we have more so an abundance of earth and air. 
that I'm seeing here. Okay, but we also have fire here. So let's go on and just make a few general observations, okay? And I'm going to give you then a consolidated story so that you understand what I'm seeing here coming in your future here. I'm certainly seeing a very promiscuous type single man coming in or a man that, you know, he might lie to, to get women or whatever, but he's still in his head, he's single and wants to do whatever it is that he wants. Okay, he's commitment phobic. All right, I'm seeing someone that's very secretive, okay? I'm also seeing, it looks like, I'm seeing some type of a secret event or some type of a festive social occasion coming up for you guys. I'm also seeing a graduation connected with you guys. I don't know whether it's you or it could be someone around you here. But rest assured, it looks like a secret that has been hidden will definitely surface to life, okay? But as I said here, Mountains certainly can be crossed. And because you have the ship here following this, it certainly will be overcome here, whatever problems here. But I do see that it looks like either I'm seeing a trip that might get canceled. Or if you go, it's going to be very a, a various tiring, arduous type trip I'm kind of seeing here. So let me hone in on trying to kind of identify this, these men that I'm seeing here showing in your future. The cards are telling me that he's very attractive or handsome, okay, but very street smart, you know? I'm seeing someone who wears glasses or contacts, okay, or kind of acts like a geek, if you will, yet very intelligent, but very secretive as well. I'm seeing someone fair-skinned. Someone with either freckles or acne that I'm kind of getting. I'm seeing gray hair. Some balding, an older type male looks like. Someone, again, of Mediterranean descent to include African, you know, Asian, uh, etc. Okay. 